Hey guys and gals, let's build the Space Research Rover by Lego Friends. This is set number 42602, contains 514 pieces, retails for $49.99, and this set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. Alright, so we read all that off. <laughs> and yes, Lego Friends Space, isn't that cool? So we do have four building guides, and that's pretty much the Space Rover there. And it just divides the thing down. We'll be focusing on booklet one there. And honestly, uh, you know, I'm kind of pooped out of space a long time ago. And I guess Lego thought we weren't done yet. And we do have four bags of strips. So let me start setting these over here. Getting them off out getting them off the workbench. Now I'm already going to subtract a point because the box was packed so sloppy. I don't know what Lego's doing over there, but already down to a nine. We haven't even started yet. And you know, I'm still six. You know how blunt I'm going to be. Well, if, you're, if you're looking for censored, filtered, 100% positive reviews, it's probably not the channel for you. Uh, but anyway. We're going to start building. Now, this might be a good build. We don't know yet. So, let's begin with bag one here. And, honestly, I'm already tired of just space in general. The reason why I picked Lego Creator, Lego City, Lego Friends, is so I can get a variety of builds. Not the same stuff. But i got to be careful because I'll go into full-blown rant mode. Ooh, those are nice. Oh, they're that metallic opaque blue. Um, these would make great plants for underwater, huh? How many of those do we get? This is the leaf pieces I was talking about. I'd like to get bigger ones. Uh, they do have them in the green color. Those would be great for even Christmas stuff, too. Okay. Man. I'm still fighting that stupid cold. I'm still trying to get it out of my system, so that's why I sound kind of raspy. The other day when I was filming one of these, my nose was just so stuffed up with a nasty cough. Still got the cough a little bit, but at least the runny nose is gone. Okay. Let's build... Oh, look! It's William, and I like that, Lego. You labeled him. Now we know who we're building. That's what I like to see, because I don't know who I'm building half the time. And uh, let's see if we can... Well, a pre-molded... Oh, okay, I see what that's for. All right. Now... Since the last time we met, I, which is like the other day, probably for you guys and gals, it's probably... A week or two later I've been haven't been doing a whole lot but I did fix the errors in one of my videos and I gotta start working on that today and get the building guide written up so I can deliver it to patreon and that's William so far well they gave him a they gave him a normal hairdo I'm sorry, we're going to have to rip that nasty torso off of you. I don't like that purple on him. It doesn't suit him justice. Honestly, it looks like he's a, a disco dancer or something. I don't know. So, looks like we're going to be building a bunch of accessories first. So we won't even see the main build for a while. Ooh, some of these noodle pieces. I need some of those in that color. Well, there they are, but it's a bit too late. Oh, one of these alien pieces that are printed. Oh, I haven't seen stickers in this. Oh, well, that's even better. Maybe I'll have to redact my uh, minus the point for the sloppy box packing for that. All right. 
But yeah, I... <laughs> oh, brings back... Uh, there was a comment. Somebody had mentioned that they were kind of disappointed that I didn't enjoy one of the sets that Lego sent me. It was the Fox. And I just, there's just, I can't like every Lego set. It's just impossible. Uh, my style of builds are a bit different. I can't just say, oh, look, this is a Lego set I've always been dying to have. The ones I've been dying to have, they don't make anymore. So, unfortunately, that's just how it is. But at least I'm giving you honest reviews. I'm not going to just, you know. So you, you scalp him to put the hat, the helmet on. We're not doing that. He looks better without it. You put him over there with his helmet. And we've got to build one of these plant things. And honestly, I'm tired of space. I really am. Um... You know, I mean, you know what? We were talking about the angle in the last thing. I'm going to raise this up a bit more. My voice is still cracking and everything. And I was hoping it would go away by now. I've had this stuff since Friday. And today's Wednesday, the 6th, 2024. Well, March 6th, 2024. And whoops, I'm trying to focus it in better for you here. There we go. And see, these are two different types of oranges here. So anyways, I could be working on one of my tutorials today. Well, we're doing this right now. I know the number one thing I ask LEGO to send me is a modular, the big stuff, because I mostly do the bigger mocks and stuff. I've yet to even see any of those. I've been seeing space, and space is well out of my realm. Haven't had anybody trash talk me yet about it, but you know this is not my specialty. Oh, that's in blue. I can use those. I think I've used 3x3 three three plates a handful of times in mocks, but... You know, they're pretty common now. Oh, wait, there was stickers in the set. All right. Let me check the box. Remember, it was packed sloppy if you watch the unboxing. Let me look around here for it. Oh, there was stickers in here. Well, like I said, it's already out of nine because the box is packed sloppy. But there's the stickers. You know how many people on my main channel refuse to come over here? And they'll say I forgot to mention this. That's why I do everything here. And some people will actually re redo the whole video for one thing like this. No, I won't. Alright. So we got to put two number sevens on that. That's a lot of stickers for 500 and something bricks. So that's what we're putting on there. And I'm going to be honest, uh, I mean, I kind of just, when I saw this, that I have to do it, I thought, oh, I'm going to have to do this. Let me just stick the sticker on here like that. I'm ripping those off when I'm done, by the way. But... But I'm just kind of just getting fed up with the space. That's why I picked different themes. I didn't know every theme I picked was all tailored around space. So it looks like this year will be a lot of belly aching. Hey, at least I got my tutorials to keep my sanity, huh? Okay, I've never seen these purple one by one plates with the clip before in purple. At least that's a nice consolation prize. 
Let's see here. But I try to keep the rantiness out of them because everybody wants the positive reviews. Matter of fact, I may put that as a, a disclaimer. My disclaimers are getting longer, but, you know. Okay, a stick in bright green. I, I've never seen them in that color before. It'd be good for plants and foliage. So I'm sorry, folks, if you're expecting something different. Sometimes I think Lego will just assume that we like stuff. And it's like I'll look through analytics. A lot of people like my car builds. So I've been trying to focus more on making cars. Um, a lot of you like my house tours. I'm trying to find up time to make houses. But hey, at least I got all the furniture tutorials built for those. So I just have to build the house and just follow my own building guides and I'm done. So see, all those furniture tutorials will come in handy. Just, you know, build the, uh, just build the house and just go through the building guides. So when I make the building guide for the house, I can just include the smaller guides for all the furniture in there. Well, that's the wrong color. So that's essentially what I'm doing. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like the furniture builds and stuff like that. A few of you told me you do. And the whole point about the furniture builds is so I can build a library of accessories so when I build a bigger build. Or sometimes it's an idea that I want to preserve. And I'm like, maybe my audience will like it. You know, sometimes, you know, like plants and stuff. I may need them for a forest build. You know, I don't know. So that's the reasoning behind it. Why I do some of the things I do on here. Uh, okay. Not sure what that's for. Oh, we got William taking a jog at the bottom. Cool. But well, we got to build two of these little space creature things. I was like, man, this whole set's going to be printed. Well, I can't redact it now. I have to just keep it at a 9. Some of the sets, Lego has that envelope, and they put all this stuff in there. This set was packed loose with this stuff in there. I mean, I understand they're trying to cut back bags and stuff, but come on, that was kind of uncalled for. Okay, and now we're done with that and these things here. I like those blue leaf pieces. All right. So now we got to build some plant thing that we saw. And, yeah, kind of reminds me like building a Minecraft set. And since I've noticed this, this is kind of a slow build because we're only putting one or two. Well, no, this one's actually broke the rule. We got three pieces we got to put on. At least it doesn't show the goofy hand thing that you can get confused on. So, my birthday, well, it's already probably passed. Yeah, it will be passed by the time you watch this, but... Um, I haven't really made any plans yet because I've got hit with a bunch of stuff for work, which is no surprise. So, you know, it's just how life is. Some people, they take a whole month off on their birthday. I don't. Okay. There was another Lego YouTuber that was talking about politics while they were doing the build. And I thought, really? That's kind of an odd topic to 
to discuss about. I mean, Lily just going ham on things. and I mean, you could do as you please, it's, it, you know, or they could do as they please. It's their channel, but I thought, oh, I just clicked off and said I don't want to hear it. <laughs> You know, I mean, at least here you will never hear that. There's some things I'd like to talk about, but it is sometimes there's things that are appropriate, some things are not. You know, blue is a soothing color to, pl to build with. Okay. But... I was like, you know, is that really appropriate to discuss that? Because, you know, kids are going to watch this stuff, too. But I guess it's the blue one. Or a, oh, it's a hollow stud. You get some hollow blue studs with it, too. All right. Yeah, these are kind of cool. What would you use these for? Because they're like that. Uh, I don't know, but you get. I mean, I'm getting a lot of these little leaf pieces in different colors. Nothing that would be any of any use to me. Uh, maybe for a fantasy build or underwater builds, but I don't do a whole lot of underwater building. But for somebody out there who's interested in that, there you go. There's plenty of this stuff to do. I'm gonna check something. There's supposed to be two or one of these. Just the one. Hmm, who's pounding on something out there? Yeah, but anyways, though, anyways, it's kind of cool to spend the time and talk to you guys and gals and build this stuff, and you can build along with me when you get the set. But I was really hoping for a really big, long, large build, like a modular. And we just dive right on in. Some of the other guys on the Ambassador Network got the bigger stuff. Stuff that they could just do all that. But they do this. And I've had some of you request. And I found out LEGO does support projects like that. And the only problem with those is I have to file lots of paperwork. So I don't know. I have to think on it. Oh, that's a transparent pink. That's kind of cool. But if it's something I think is interesting, I, I may do it. And I may just consider getting a few sets that are released, and they'll send them to me, and I'll just review them or something. And we'll do an in-depth build, but that could take 30 to 60 days. And I... I really don't want to get into doing that. And that goes right in there. I think it's supposed to close up like that. Well, maybe not. Just leave it like that. That's kind of pretty, huh? I don't know what it is, but yeah. Okay, now we can start doing the next one here. So yeah, I have to still pause the video, clear my throat, and edit all that out. Because I've still got that cough. Anyways, though, guys and gals, we can have a lot of fun doing this stuff here. But if it's something you are interested in, let me know, and maybe we can uh, do a set build or something like that, and then that'll be what I'll do here. Like that right there. We got to put another one of those on top. I know one thing, once I get better, I'm getting this mop cut off. I'm hoping next week to squeeze some time out to do it. I literally got hair that comes right down to my mid cheek or to the top of my nose. Well, wait, you no, know, the top of my nose, right where the, the bottom part of my nose. It just, the 
care just goes all the way down that long, which is just, I thought, what well, I've already got it that long. I guess I can grow the curtains out, but I tried it, and it just makes me look kind of weird, so I'm not youthful like I used to be. I thought, well, it's tempting, but. I don't want to have to deal with all that again. Just get a crop and you're done with it. So when I get out of the shower, it doesn't take an hour for my mop to dry out. It just takes like a few, not even a minute and I'm done. Just a drop of shampoo and that's it. I sound all lazy, but you know, still. All right. Yeah, for the most part, the set's colorful. And is it keeping my interest? Yes. Because it is colorful. So things can change. There we go. And this one goes here. Yeah, these things here are kind of... That's something you'd put at the bottom of an ocean or something. Oh, and then the aliens sit on there. Those are the little perches. Just be careful putting those on there, too. There you go. Bring that up so you can see that a little better. It's kind of pretty, huh? It's all blue. Oh, so basically you can close these up. Because it shows you right here in the book. So when William comes by them, they'll just open up and say hi to him, huh? That's still kind of cool though. But that's it for booklet one and bag one. And yeah, we didn't mess up or anything like that. And that's what we have remaining. All right, well, now we're going to move on to booklet two and bag two. This looks like we're building the wheels and stuff. This looks like we're going to need those. We'll slide William and the plants that like to say hi to him out of the way. Need those. Still got that nasty thing of stickers. The bag of yeah, but I've been getting more comments saying that this is the only channel that does this. And I don't understand it. If if a lot of these guys are already doing this, why don't they just do this and just throw some commentary? Just talk about things. Get to know their fans a bit more. It takes too much time for them. And I don't want to give you just some one-way... Well, basically it is a one-way conversation, but... Here at least I can answer comments and stuff. And talk about things, future projects and stuff. And there's no paper... Ooh. Some of the things I don't like about all this stuff flying out of here. Any more bags in there? All right. Yeah, the only thing colorful in that is the Friends logo. That's what we need there. All right, let's get going. At least it's got some purple. Oh, I hope there's not going to be a sticker on that. We get a bunch of those. <laughs> you know what? I have an idea for those. I can't tell you, but it'd be kind of cool if I could. When I look through parts in a set, I see a lot of potential. All right. Well, at least it's not a small part, but I'm trying to find one of these, but it's a one by two type thing. Oh, there it is. All right. Yeah, but building all the t 
building all those tutorials and getting hit with sets that are the same theme is, well, makes me appreciate my own builds a lot more. Uh, you know. That's why I can't wait to get back into the tutorial. I got a tutorial that I, I thought of for Halloween. Matter of fact, October and November months are almost done with filming. I still haven't really finished up summer months, but when the ideas pop into my head, that's when I work on them. So nothing's really ever done in order. I haven't worked on that fifth wheel yet either. But at least I'm getting something done. And it's all about, you know, getting a bunch of things done that I want to build. I looked at my spreadsheet. I'm 73% capacity, or 73%, 73 built for this year. And I'm 50% done with all the videos that I got done with so far this year. That means 50% of it's done with building guides, all that stuff. What you probably see is not even a fraction of that yet. And I've already had plans for next year's stuff, but I'm not going to start that until I get this year's stuff done. So I'm kind of on my game on this one here, folks. Um, does getting all these review offers, does it help with, the review, with mocks, with parts? You want me to lie to you? No. It doesn't. It's... You know, yes, there. Some people think it's free parts, but a lot of these pieces I either have duplicates of that I never use, or some of the stuff is in the wrong color that I can never use. I can try to find a use for it, but wow, a flame yellowish orange Technic plate. That's unusual. You got a couple of those too. Now, one thing I wish Lego would do is, it's, you know, when I grew up, our Technic sets were just, they were yellow, gray, blue, black, whatever. They were not really exciting. Um, and I kind of wish Lego would make really fun, colorful Technic builds, like bright greens and pinks and stuff. I'll make a pink Technic crane or something like that. I think the kids would love that. Something that's really just oddball color. Something pastel. Call it pushing you out of the comfort zone. They've already done enough of that with me, but I think just having all these oddball colors would be cool. Well, it can only go in one hole, huh? There we go, like that. Put that nail in there. All right, and then... Huh? Am I putting that in the wrong area? Wait a minute, let me take a look here. Oh, it goes like that. There we go. Let me check something. I need to build two of these or one. I know I've already had a few of you ask me, when am I going to bring out the big models again? You know, the more I do these, the more I appreciate how much I like building those. Because I'm just following the book. And I think probably out of sets like this, probably no more than 5% of the parts I can even use. So what do I do with all these leftover parts? A lot of the sets that they've sent me are still built from two and a half, three years ago. I still have sets that are built or partially built. And it's kind of a waste because some of the stuff I'd love just to give to somebody who doesn't have one. I'm not allowed to do that. 
but it would be nice to give some of the stuff to some kids who otherwise don't have any of this stuff. And building it, yes, yeah, half the fun, but oh, you need sticker number eight, which is this. Um, and it's on a round tile, which are impossible for me to get on straight. Like it's some kind of a robot. I don't know what that is. Once I get this review, this batch of reviews, I only have three sets to review. This is this is two out of three. The next one I got to do is is really a small one, but I've been doing them in the order in which uh, they got to be published. The reason why I do that is is just so uh, when I edit them and stuff, it just makes more sense. I don't want to do one that's I have one set that's not due for a month, and it's kind of silly to start that one first when one of these is due in three weeks. You know, so what I'm doing is spacing them out just right. And that kind of thing here. Yeah, my hands are still a little jittery. This time I brought some, I got some oranges. So I'm going to be chowing down on those just so I can shake this stuff faster. Vitamin C is really good for you. So you got to, if you're sick, that's the best way. Going outside, having a breath of fresh air. Oh, that doesn't stick over like that. It goes like this. And I just want to hurry up and shake this stuff. It's nasty found out the culprit who gave it to me and they got an earful. Oh, I'm sorry, but I had to, I couldn't take time off. I'm thinking, yeah, you can. Oh, I get paid sick leave? You've been here this long and you didn't know that? I, I was just, so I had said, okay guys, read the handbook. It says you can take time off. I didn't put that in there just for you guys to sit there and go, Oh, we can do this? Yeah. Yeah. Some people there. Oh, I didn't know I could take time off. All you got to do is, and if they're not sure, they can just ask, you know. Some people don't want to ask. Oh, I'll make you mad. No, what makes me mad is getting me sick and half of everybody else sick. That's what makes me mad. I said that right there is... That's just bad. Oh, I didn't even see that. Look, that's a purple 2x4 brick. That's extra rare, huh? I will never see those that often in these. Especially in a friend set. Well, we really haven't been seeing a whole lot of white yet. Um, it's coming up, though. But the last couple of, of these uh, space sets have been kind of just... Man, builds. This one here is at least keeping my interest up a little bit. Um, okay, and this goes right here. So I'm assuming that there's probably a pin that goes in there. Yes, there is. All right. Okay. It's sad that the it's sad that the friend sets have more technic than the regular sets. So stick that that hole right there and just kind of wiggle it. You know what? They show the flange going. With the flange part, that would make more sense. I hate Technic with a passion. Hey, they said that they will never send me Technic because the Technic communities get those first. Hey, you know what, Lego? That's fine by me. I ain't going to complain on that one. 
you know, uh, some people don't like it. I just can't get into it. I just can't. Now we got to put a bunch of cross axles in here, and these are probably for the wheels. Yeah, could have been worse. I could be looking at the computer right now. I, I'm checking errors in a database. Usually it takes a few minutes to an hour. It's still running, so yeah. Just have to worry about it later. Probably check it out after I get done with this bag here. Well, these are kind of friction. In case the wheels are not supposed to turn. Hmm. We don't know yet, huh? Or maybe it's meant to connect all the Technic shafts together. A lot of these bent pieces. <laughs> there we go. We need four of those. I think I have a couple of these from the Mindstorms. I have the Intelligence Brick I haven't really played with. I got the set I kind of played with it, and then I have to buy this power adapter that was like $50 or something. Because the bad thing drinks down batteries like crazy, and I just thought, oh. Oh, we got to put stickers on these? Sticker number six. Oh well, yeah, I mean, I guess. And I'll guarantee they're probably going to be mirrored, too. Jay, you and your belly aching, yeah. And it doesn't matter, Jay, you're going to rip them off. Yep, they're going to be gone. Yeah, but about my birthday extravaganza thing. I kind of want to go to the mountains. And I've already took off all that time. Well, no, my time off has been resetted. And I may just... Well, my birthday's on a Saturday anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just thinking, though, where do I want to go? Someplace relaxing. You know, someplace that would be just... I get to chill and not have to worry about anything. You know. Hmm, that did not want to go on there. There we go. It's supposed to be like that. And I think the other ones are going to be focusing on, yep, so these are backwards. You got to take a couple more. Six stickers and today it's supposed to be raining outside so maybe we'll get a treat but I doubt it it's raining down in LA right now but usually they tell us we always get what we call shadow rain which means that it's clear all around us and you'll see storm clouds and it's I've seen it you'll look no matter which direction you see a bunch of clouds but I'm in this one area that's always sunny and you get some of the older folk who like it oh we don't have to mess with the rain and all that stuff and I'm like well yeah but just think the roads are gonna still be closed I like it when it rains you know why because I sleep better at night well, I need, I'm missing one of these. But maybe it rolled off somewhere. Let's see here. If I have to get up, then so be it. Let's see here. Did it roll on the floor? Remember, we had that bag that kind of was ch choking up the parts, but I don't see it anywhere in there. Well... It's red, too. It's not like it's white, so that's not an excuse. Sometimes they just forget to pack certain parts, and let me get up and go get one. 
Yeah, sometimes I have to get out of my own collection. You notice I didn't blame Lego yet because we don't know. I haven't checked the mess down here on the floor. Okay, then these go here. Hmm. I'll just do that. Stick tiles on those. Hmm. be ringing my chimes. Okay. Alrighty, so now now we gotta build four wheels. And those fun? Oh yeah. Put that off to the side there. And like these are really handy for making water fountains. What are we using them for? For this, well, 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 I'll rip those off when I'm done, and guess what I'll be doing with those, folks? Making a big fancy water fountain to put in my park in my city. Yeah, that's to make a good parts donor. Jay, you're gonna rip that all apart? Yeah, isn't that cool? I was watching one of my streams and I was doing this, and I had a fan who goes comes in, goes, "You're gonna rip that all apart?" Yeah, that's a waste of a set. I'm like, no, it's a waste when it's sitting inside of a box somewhere not being utilized. So no, it's going to get ripped apart for the goodies. Mm -hmm. And take all the parts out of it too. All right, then we got to take all these. So you imagine getting 16 of these 3x3 three three, uh, bricks with bow or arch. Let's start separating things so I can build it faster here. And you get a bunch of these. See? So if, if you find this set on clearance and you need just these pieces, you know, I always tell, especially for you guys out there who are terrified of these, I'm talking about the few who are just, well, the many who are scared to go out and buy a friend set, you know. There's some good parts in these. They're good for part outs. Better than have to order it through Lego and wait a long time to have the parts shipped to you. Ooh, a white camera. There you go. Alrighty. And then we have to make four of these. I have so I have a whole box full of just these little round plates. What do I do with them? I don't know. I wish they were in the nougat and stuff because they make great hamburger patties. And then stick those studs in those four tubes. We got to do that four times. It's all in fours. Now this is only 500 pieces. The next one I have I think is only like a hundred and something parts. It's not bad. I just you know kind of don't want to to do it, but. And then stick these in here. So we're just going to prepare them as we go. Boy, that just, uh, yeah. I thought, why is this one loose? Did I not press it in hard enough? <laughs> hey, my hands were achy a little while ago, like a couple of days ago, like a day or two ago. And not anymore. 
I'm not cold anymore or anything like that. I feel fine. It's just that scratchy cough. Okay. Uh, now we slide all those off to the side. Now we got to take these things. So what I'm going to do is just kind of just assemble them all like this. These could be used for uh, the Arctic stuff too. So you might be able to take this rover and make it into an Arctic thing. Oh, I found the last one of these. There it is. So we found that red piece. So Lego wasn't missing a part because I found it. All right, that's why I said I wasn't going to point fingers yet. All right, they don't show it. But where did that come from? They didn't show it. I think that they shoved this in like that. You know. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to prepare them. Plastic wheels. Plastic. That's right. And we stick these on the top. Why? I, mean, I guess you can't. I thought maybe you could do that. So you could annoy the kids with it. Okay. Alright, so after that, then we just fix the wheels to everything here. And they go oh, right in those cross holes on the ends. Alright. Well, let's loosen it up there a little bit. There we go. So, when you put these on, alright, they're going to be stiff like this. Just wiggle it a little bit and just kind of free spin it. Okay. Because you don't want it to drag. Okay, so just free spin them to make sure, or just not shove them in all the way to, make sure there's just a little gap right there, right there, just a little gap. It's not the best setup in the world, but, you know, hey, Lego, I guess they had to do what they had to do. There you go. Oh, yeah. I should do that for one hour, just for ASMR, huh? Just to do that. All right. Now we got to make two of these little claw things. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm starting to just kind of lose interest in this set. I know. I, was, I know some of you are probably hoping me to highly ex to enjoy this. Oh, give me a gas station or something to build, but yeah, I mean. <laughs> Yeah. These I could use for my uh, travel trailers. So I got a couple more of those. White's okay, but no. And then they go right there. Okay. And we're not done yet. Got the camera here. cameras in one of the hands. So there you go. That's what the book showed it right there. Um, and that's it. Got the stars. And then that's it for booklet two. And so far, the build started off okay. See, now we're finding these. So remember, I have one extra now because I grabbed out of my own collection. And 
really haven't tackled the stickers all that much. Oh, it's going kind of slow, so that's pretty good for this. And that's what we have remaining, so that's not too bad for bag two. Okay, it looks like we're building the cockpit for booklet three. And here's bag three, and I wonder if that's scratched. We'll find out here. Right now we're at, I'm going to say an 8.8, .8 just because of the stickers and the sloppy packing in the box. And I'm starting to lose interest in the build. Okay, because it's just a theme that, Friends theme is one thing, but the space, I remember that mansion that I built, that was fun. You know, all fun things got to come to an end. Uh-oh, let's see. Wow, that came out unscratched. You know what? I'm if Lego would make these in clear, I'd like to get a couple of these. Matter of fact, this would be great for like a train or something, like a front windscreen. Oh, there's another one here, but it's that soft plastic, so it shouldn't break. Okay, that's two. Let's see how bad this one here is. Yes, I'm checking them. I see some scuffs on this, but nothing I'm going to get into a fuss over. All right. Okay. And we got Olivia we're building next. I thought it was ladies before gentlemen, huh? Well, I guess... I said it's backwards because it's space. I don't even know what time it is. No. I don't keep a I used to have a big uh, jumble wall clock in here. And I, when I was redoing this room, I never uh, put it back up. It's 2.30. Okay. Here we go. All right, Olivia. There we go. So far, it's modular up to a point, but I don't think it's fully modular. Wow, Olivia gets the normal colored space uniform. I understand why Lego's doing this, but for me personally. Friends need to be a little bit more brightly colorful. The purple stuff has just got to go. <laughs> oh, our head's on backwards. Can't have that. Sorry, Olivia. The alien made me do it. Gordon Shumway told me to do it. All right. She looks like a doctor or a lawyer or something more than anything. Well, we got to build another one of these space packs. So books one th and three have the stuff to do the mini dolls. So if you are not into mini dolls, yeah, just skip the first few pages. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right. And it's supposed to go on like that. But we're not going to do that because it wants me to scalp her. Yeah. I don't know when I'll do the review on this. Uh, this one here is pretty small. I don't think we'll need to do a close-up on this one here. At least you get to hear all the behind the scenes. But anyways, back to the tutorial stuff. Uh, I think I'll... I might be able to squeeze out three mocks this year and 49 uh, t tutorials. I don't know yet. But the more the tutorials, the more tutorials I publish, the better. In fact, I should just crack open my curtains in here. It's, it's 
it's dark outside. What the heck's going on? Maybe it's a, an alien invasion. Oh, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna crack the window open and get bed. Because why? Because it's in the 70s right now. A lot of you guys back east, uh, it freezes and cold when it rains and snows out here. When it rains, it's warm. Not too fun, but hey. You can hear the morning doves outside. And... Ooh! I could use these. These would work great for headlights for cars. How many of those do we get in there? Hope it's not just the one. There's two of them. Oh. Well. That's why it's dark outside. I mean, it's starting to storm out there. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll hear the rain. I thought about if this camera had another microphone, I would put it over there and we can monitor it. I know some of you probably are sick of the rain and stuff, but out here it's a treat. Out here, we're sick of seeing the sunshine. It's boring. You go outside, if there's no shade, even if it's in the middle of winter, you will get, you wish you're somewhere else. You know, I have a whole bin of four by fours. Four by four plates, or I don't use them as often as I should. I know I was talking about the 1x2 plate. It seemed like a lot of people weren't interested in that tutorial or that part exploration. Sometimes I'll just dig through a bin thinking, you know what, this part here is just kind of cool. Let's just talk about it. Everybody's got a bin full of 1x2s, but still, you know. These ingot pieces are always cool. Okay, it looks pretty good. But I'm just trying to think of anything else that we can build real quick, that I can build real quick for you. Um, so that means I can get October and November done. Hopefully by this weekend would be pretty cool. How do I do the tutorials when I'm sick like this? So I haven't really been pausing the video much. I know I'm getting pretty much done. When I woke up this morning, I couldn't even speak. Like, it was so raspy. I had to drink lots of water just to get the voice to work again. And I thought, oh, man. Oh, well, these don't go like that. They go like this. And there we go. And I'm just like, oh. Ugh. Get the flu out of the way first. And if you're in a house with elderly people and they don't, they can't hear very well. Yeah, trying to yell is almost impossible. I have to get up next to them. It's even hard for me talking through this. 
at least my voice it's a good way to stress release stress test my 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 abilities so when I do the tutorials oh that's printed so when I do the tutorials I know if I can handle doing them or not before I get sick or I think they're using these for the headlights right here in the front Ooh, almost caught myself there I'm starting to cough almost in your ear my apologies if you almost heard that whoo I couldn't hold it I had started getting that scratchy throat feeling and I thought uh-oh I can't hold it let's see here remember my yellow school bus with the white top some people say well why was it white on top a lot of them out here are so there's one right there if you need it. Now we're getting into more of the common colors that I have millions of. I did, I'm going to answer a question. Somebody said, well, Jay, they didn't make those Lego sets for you. Why are you complaining? No, but when I'm presented a set I have to be honest you know and sometimes the colors palettes are just kind of oh I mean more or less boring honestly uh, this is I mean I think it's just the space theme I'm just kind of burned out of This one goes in the back corner right there. But I think it's just the space theme. It's just, I like classic space. I don't know, it's just something about it, but this modern sterile stuff is not really fun. Not for me anyways. At least I'm honest with you. I'm not going to lie and tell you this is the best set in the whole wide world. You know, is it keeping my interest? I'm kind of just... You know, I'm going to be honest. I want to build my own stuff to be, you know, be quite free. I want to build something large, something that's city related, you know, that kind of thing. hear the traffic. I mean, it's damp outside. Roof tiles are all wet, but I don't see any gushing water. May have to bring some firewood in here before it gets pretty bad. This is the uh, cockpit area, but, you know, we haven't put a sticker on it. Oh, they want me to put a sticker on that. Well, we know what that's what, what's going to happen to that when we're done. That's sticker number two, which it's that right there with the, with the solar cell or the solar system. Well, that's going to get ripped off. Jay, you're ripping off all the good stuff. Yeah, isn't that cool? Can't wait to rip that off. We gotta we gotta do that again with sticker number four, which is that one right there. Yeah, we're gonna rip all that off. Kind of getting tired. Uh, 
I got all that stuff from my Lego haul I kind of just dabbled with the other night. And I thought, oh, I cannot wait to, to build these. Ooh, transparent purple one by two plates. Oh, they're the regular ones, too. Alrighty. I don't know what I'd use those for. Well, for stained glass, obviously. That's one reason why I want to build a church. Just so I can go into the heavy architectural detail. But when I mentioned I was going to build a church, next thing you know, there was a whole bunch of religious debates on what I'm going to build. That's when I aborted the project. If I ever build it, it would just be a it would just be a personal build, not published. You know. Don't be working your horn at me. I'm going as fast as I can. And now we got all the white parts. Ugh. Time for the belly aching again. Let's see here. So we gotta build two of these. So okay. At least I'm paying attention. This is it tells us we're building two, they're just duplicates. Yeah, I'm thinking about instead of buying for Mike, I'm gonna buy some stick on tiles. Um, see if I could buy some bigger sheets and then just stick it down on here. And I don't know how it's going to stick to You can see all the brush strokes on here. And this is really dirty. But if I have that on there, I'm sure it'll be a little more durable. If I do get some stick on stuff, I'll see if I can find something with a matte finish because I don't want to use gloss. As you can hear, it sticks. This has just got latex paint on it. It's and it needs to be just redone. It had oil base on here when I first started, but it yellowed. And I thought, well, I'm not putting that on there anymore. I like oil base better, but then they stopped making it. Now you gotta have all the. You can't have the lead base stuff in there. And you hear people, oh, that house has got lead paint, don't go in there. That's only bad if you're licking it and eating it and stuff. This place was pretty much lead and asbestos when they got it. There's still, there still is asbestos in the. Some of the other draw, the uh, the finish on the walls, but as long as you're not poking holes at it and sniffing it, you're fine. Like purposely trying to eat it. I mean, people get scared of asbestos. It's only if you disturb it. It's a nice insulating material, but that's only if you respect it. Okay. These go on here, like that. Now, I wonder if this is compatible with the other space sets. Probably not. But if it's a vehicle, I don't see why it, you know, it wouldn't be. these yeah three by three tiles like that these are always nice for crowning off tops of water fountains I have a water fountain that I need to still fix up um, it's one of those ones that's made out of like plaster of Paris or something like that and it's starting to crack in a few areas I just want to repair it I got the pump and everything working it really works great it just leaks a little bit of water and I'm going to try to repair it as much as I can. Once I get that back in order, then I'll have a fountain to listen to. It sits by the kitchen window, so when I'm cooking dinner or something like that, I can flip it on and 
It sounds so nice to hear running water. That's the same place I'm going to start doing the Lego videos. So we can start doing the fun stuff. All these fit inside of there? Well, I won't know because it keeps flying out of my hand. Well, there we go. So yeah, it does. Well, that's kind of cool. We'll put that one in there, huh? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to put some stickers on some stuff here. So, on this side here, sticker number five, which is this. I think, um, I think honestly, they should have just kept it the same stuff as the other space set. See, I'm having a hard time getting these on here. I may have to ding. I still didn't get that on there right. I think I'm going to have to ding this uh, down to a flat A just because of the stickers. The stickers are just on this round stuff. You don't know if you're getting them on right. Like that one there is supposed to be tilted. This one's not. And trying to peel it off and reseat that back on there is a pain. I'm not even going to waste my time with it. So. It goes like that. It's not, it's not too bad. Looks pretty good. It's, But you notice the build quality. I haven't had anything fall off. And that's part of the build experience, too. And the play value. Because if it's durable, it's not going to flake apart on you. I mean, we're not done yet, but I haven't had any issues. Yeah, i got to see what I want to make for a dinner tonight. Probably a greasy burger. I can't take any more fast food. And that's what we have remaining for bag three. And let's see this on. No, it's not closing down. Oh, there it goes. It's buckling here. Okay. Well, for the most part, there's a gap and it'll suck your brains out, but it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, <laughs> and we haven't, we only got three stickers left, so this thing is not bad in terms of stickers, it's just some of them are hard to place, and this goes on here now, um, okay, it goes right here, well, there's only one hole, the one right in the middle there is the one we're going to stick that in. You know what, though? So far, and I'm going to say it, you know, like I said, I try to find ways to trash these, but this is modular so far. Why? Because at the very last step, we put it onto here. That means person A could build this, and person B can still be constructing this, and it won't matter. So, so far, I would say up to three people can comfortably build this. Are we going to shoot for an even four? Well, we'll find out. Alrighty, here we go. We got to build the sleeping quarters now for bag four. And yeah, so far we've already confirmed that it is modular. But I have a feeling that this last piece is isolated. That means up to four people. Well, we'll find out. Okay. See, Lego pulled it off with this one. Because you and a bunch of friends, at least you and two other friends can put this together. Alright, how bad are these scratched? Lego, I see any more pits I'm going to ding off. I wish those were in transparent, like maybe a dark, like black or something. Okay, Lego, I got to ding off something. Look how bad that is. That's not called for, right? 
I'm digging off another point. So what is that, a 7.6 now? How hard I am? I don't play games when it comes to that kind of nonsense. They could have stopped that at any time. Jay! Yeah, they could have. You know, that's how it is. I mean, I've had some that said, Jay, you're just nasty on reviews. There's three other YouTubers I could think off the top of my head that do nothing but positive reviews. All right, let's take a look at these. These are always cool. I need to get some of these purple transparent pieces. Those are not scratched. Oh, I hope there's an even four. See, this one here is scratched. Wow, Lego. You make a beautiful product and you pack it like it's junk. I, I don't understand it. Okay, well, hey, it's not, hey, I'm not getting, I'm not, I'm not purposely giving little score, uh, low scores. Oh, Apollo. That's the only step. Where's it at? Let's see here. Sorry, but the little puppy dog ain't going to fix this. So that's what it is. It's an animal figure. Like a, a pug, maybe? Hard to say what that is. <laughs> Apollo. I need to get some of these for a plane project. Um, I just got to find... I have some stuff for a six stud wide aircraft but not for eight so if I could find the stuff I want to build a full big large passenger jet you know, go hardcore on it right, we're gonna have to be careful the book in here just they should have tipped the page a little bit more like that they didn't I don't know why but you know. oh, that's a transparent tile Jay, yeah, we got to ding all those points off. I remember, I can't mention his name because he, he doesn't comment on this channel, but he asked, we were talking on a Discord message, and he asked me just to be me. That's me. I'm being hard. Why am I hard on this stuff? Jay, they give it to you. Why do you, why do you, uh, why do you care? Because I'm spending my time. I could be working on a new mock right now which I have the parts for. So, I mean, that's how it is. You know, that's, that, that's how it is. So, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to lie. Oh, don't tell me we're putting stickers on these. I'll guarantee you that's what's going on here. I could use these. I mean, I don't have a lot of two by six tiles. Ugh, what is that on there? Leg, are you sending me bad parts? Look at that's like gouged in there. Oh, Lego. Now I gotta ding it down to a 7.5. And I was hoping not to have to do that. Jay, man, you are brutal. Yeah, when I'm sick, I'm really extra hard. Don't play games like that. I can use those in yellow, but... Sorry, but the space puppy ain't going to make me feel any better. All right, let's see here. But no, I've, I've had that question brought up. Well, Jay, you're a... Why are you so brutal on these? They give them to you. No, I have to do paperwork. When I'm done, when I do this and publish it, I have to file paperwork with Lego. I have to give them the link to the video so they can view the comments and stuff. You know, I have to do that. Let me put this right there. So it's not like it's free. Some people think it is. It's not. It's... Uh, it's not free because well, I have to spend my time here. Oh, wait a minute. I put that in backwards, but I'll show you here. They actually, um, 
Okay, you're going to need... one of these bacteria things here. I don't know what that is. And then you need a white keyboard right here. Must be a computer. Yeah, I could use those white keyboards, preferably in black though. Well, maybe that's not going to get a sticker. Let me look here, because that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Maybe the sticker goes on later. All right. Let me get the magnifying glass and shove it over the bacteria so we can get an extra view of that, huh? <laughs> yeah, we got to make sure we can really see it in all its glory. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside now. It's a treat. When I get done with this, i got to start fixing up a dinner. Alrighty, so this sits in here. Well, I thought this would rotate. Oh, it does rotate. I bet there is going to be a bed on there. So it's like that. You know what? That mechanism there would be pretty cool for bunk beds for a camper. Or for a hideaway bed or something. I'll have to play around with that. And they show it folded down. There we go. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it cracks it with my parents. They'll call me an old man for some reason. I'm, I'm not old. Oh, yeah, but you're getting there. I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't feel like it. And it starts some drama that I just kind of quickly evade. You're only as old as how you feel. But some people, they want to drag you down with them. Okay, don't let anybody do that to you. I don't care if they're your parents or what. If you feel happy, feel happy. If you feel sad, you can feel sad. I'm trying to find another one of those. Just some people, when they're miserable, they want to drag everybody else down with them. I'm like, don't ruin my day. All right, we've got a battery symbol here. Yeah, it's starting to become mostly white parts at this point. We got purple, but I haven't uh, seen anything else in here. Oh, that's a radiator grill. I thought it was something special. So, you know, this is probably a set that I just don't really enjoy building. It is playable, at least. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a playable model. And some sets could be boring to put together, but they're fun to play with. That's my whole intent on this channel. Um, okay, so you rotate it around. You stick this one in there like this. So now you got your beds, and you can do that. I'm sure it's probably a better way of doing that. I'll leave them down like that. Yep, there's those stickers right there. Sticker number one. Twice, yeah. Does it matter which way we put them on? I don't think it really matters. I mean... Yeah, that hideaway stuff, that wouldn't be too bad. I got one on there. 
And we only got one sticker left to put on. At least the stickers are not one after the other. You know what I mean? It just, you're not spending a whole bunch of time. Well, we found a dog biscuit. Oh, there's two of them. I'll have to use those for the campground and give them to the bears, huh? I want to work on that section of that campground. I may do the build progress here on this channel. So, indeed, I bet you anything this could be compatible with the other space sets, too. I think Lego needs to do that. Matter of fact, I don't know why we have boys and girls Lego sets. Why don't we just have where everybody just builds the stuff because they enjoy it. Because I know a lot of gals who prefer the regular minifigures over the mini dolls. Okay. These are a wanted brick. I just wish they weren't rounded on the back because I had other uses. But they got that rounded on the back. We're just getting there. I mean, we're getting close. I may end up doing the review all right now and getting it done. Yeah, but so far the build, yeah, I'd say it's it's really good quality. 7.5 score so far. Mainly due to sloppy packing and scratched parts. But for play value. I'm going to tell you right now, this is meant to be played with. This is a playable set. So if you're looking for something to get your daughter that's into space, I'm sure there's some gals out there who are, uh, this would be a good one here for play value. Like I said, I could lie and tell you other things, but if it looks playable and it's got features at work, I mean, it's a playable model. I'm not going to hide or tell you otherwise. I'm a, I like Friends-themed stuff, but this is, a, this is a playable set. I mean, like I said, I could lie, but we're not going to lie to you. I keep hearing somebody cough next door, but there shouldn't be anybody in that room. I'm going to have to check here in a bit. My nephew wants to get sick so he can stay out of school. And I'm thinking, dude, you do not want this. I'd rather be at work instead of being sick. Because I don't like feeling kind of groggy and nasty and stuff. Oh, I'd rather, I don't want to do any schoolwork. And I'm like, well, I'll bite my tongue on that one there. But I'm like, just don't worry about it. Just go to school, get good grades. Yeah, dog food. And they got water in there, too. Yeah, I bet that water would just float all over the place. It's green, too. It was blue when I put it on, and it turned green. Yellow and blue make green. Alrighty. Yeah, let's put these in here first. It'd be easier. Yeah, I'm just about done here. I just want to kind of get this set out of the way. This is going to be a quickie to, to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, do the review. And so when I get done with this, I'll set it up. I'll take the thumbnail. Then I'll just go ahead and do the tour and review like that in that order. Just to kind of get it done. Is it supposed to be like that? Oh, it is. Okay. 
out here though a lot like I mentioned in a few other videos a lot of the kids don't graduate oh oh I could use these that's a new part you know those big old six by eight slopes if they can come out with different sizes you could actually have a line going down them for the highway or roof slopes for that matter I mean, just get them to make different sizes and make a good roof system for a house. I was looking at that thing because I was looking for one of these. Yeah, well, there it is. So. Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, you know why? I wasn't paying attention. This goes here. And this goes in here. I still see a tile. So I have a feeling we're going to sticker that up here couple of these. I'm just setting this stuff out of the way now. But yeah. Um, 62% of the kids here graduate. They were talking about it on the news where um, a lot of people here don't, they can't read above third grade reading level. As an employer, I sure know that firsthand. And we need to put the last sticker on here on this 2x4 tile. A lot of the kids today, they don't want to go to school. I don't blame them. I don't want to go to work. But I think it's the Gen Zs that are just kind of... I mean, I can't even get this on there straight because on this it shouldn't be a problem. But, but yeah, they just... That's it. So sticker number three goes on this tile, which is like a TV or something or some kind of thing. We're done with the stickers, so we don't care about that now. And this just goes right in here. So you get to watch the aliens. Oh, the aliens can watch you while you're sleeping, huh? That's always exciting. It's kind of wiggly. But yeah, it's kind of sad though out here. I mean, I didn't like school when I was a kid too, but now when you hear them, oh, I don't need to try hard. They're going to pass me anyways. Oh, okay. Then you hear them, they're going to go to college and they drop out because college, they they don't play games. And then, well, how do you go through college? How did you survive grad school? I had to study. I had to do all that boring stuff. Oh, I don't want to have to do all that. Well, you're going to have to. I didn't wake up one day going, hmm, I can't wait to go to school and write up a 207-page dissertation. And then I have to go in front of a, a panel to defend my work. I didn't want to do all that. <laughs> I, I wasn't looking forward to that at all, but now since I'm done, I don't have to worry about it. In order to get the fun stuff, you got to do all the boring stuff first. Okay. So... I like these round tiles. It's just white, though. There we go. White. That's right. Yeah, but for the most part, I think a young gal, or even a guy, if you're interested in this, or you're just collecting space in general, this should be pretty good. So, yeah, I think this is compatible. We can try one of the cars out on it before we do the review and see how well it performs. Wait a minute, something's going on here. Oh, I forgot to put those there. That's what I did. Well, I put it on there now, so I didn't forget. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we're using these to hide all that. It's not too bad. And the sandwich and lock that top part of that windscreen together, too. Lego, you know you make a piece that goes around that. Well, maybe not that wide. Never mind. All is forgiven.
This is the, the rear lights where you can go into light speed or ludicrous speed. <laughs> where they have light speed, ridiculous speed, and ludicrous speed. Probably can guess what movie I'm referencing to. Oh, they got the dog walking the line now. Apollo's walking the line. Yeah, that puppy obviously is walking very slow, as slow as I'm building, huh? Very slow. But hey, we're getting... Don't worry, Apollo. We'll be done here in a little bit. And after that, you go in the parts bin. That's exactly where you're going. Well, you'll go in the animal bin. The exotic animals, because he's got the, the gear on. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. These are kind of cool for being purple. I want to make an all-purple car. <laughs> or a purple pickup truck or something. In fact, I saw a Chevy Silverado that somebody had painted a bright pink. I thought, you're kidding me. And it was a dude driving it, too. And I thought, no way in heck I'd ever do that. It's like a manly truck, and you made it worse. Oh, that just sits in there. Okay. Uh, stick that halfway on there like that. All right. Then it goes on there like that. And I'll show you the reason why I'm showing you that because it doesn't show you here very well. Okay. And then this goes on to here. I'm going to hold it like this just to be safe. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, look at those holes in there, Lego. That's somebody's brains are going to get sucked out of that. We're going to have to pretend. Other than that, though, I can get my hands in there. I can move the tables around. See that? Okay, so when I do the tour on this, this is pretty small. I'm just going to put it on the turntable and bring everything up to the camera. Close it. Okay, see it shows you right here how they go in. So, you can set your figures in here like this. Now that's why they have the windows there for the arms to clear. Okay, so that's not bad. And then this goes in here on the back of this. And that's what we have remaining for bag four. Now, before I start, I'm going to grab uh, the cars from one of the other builds real quick. So here's one of the cars from the other thing. I want to see if these line up at the bottom. And indeed they do. So I could sandwich those together. So I'm just testing this real quick here. Let's just pretend these pegs are in here. Well, let's put the pegs in. And we only need just one. And yeah, it's uh, it's compatible. It's compatible. And if you really wanted to, just take this thing off here. Well, if it wants to come off, and you can shove this in the back here. Well, if I had the other pin in there, but there you go. So you could, you could really, so this is expandable. I just wanted to prove that real quick. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is, because when I do the review, it is compatible with the city version of this as well. That's, what I, that's the whole goal about these, is to, just to take a look. All right. All right, so now we're going to call setting up, okay, because i got to set up for a thumbnail. And that's essentially what it is. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and get the turntable. I already have another space set on it. Because that's all. Matter of fact, every Lego set but three of them, three or four, have been nothing but space sets. And yeah, I'm kind of burned out of space. But it's one theme. 
it gets boring. So like I said, if I built nothing but travel trailers, I'd be bored. If I built nothing but restaurants, I'd be bored. Why do you think on my YouTube channel I build a little bit of everything? Because it's, it's not so boring. There are some themes, though, like if you were to build Star Wars, shouldn't be that bit of a difficult there to do Star Wars. There we go. All right, I'm just testing it out right now. All right. I don't think I really need to really worry about it, huh? Let's just leave it right there like that. And, okay, this would make more sense. So what I'm going to do here, that's the main attraction. Okay, and we got the plants here. I always like to put this stuff over here. And we're not going to, I'm not going to go close up on all this. Because I'm going to be honest with you, my friend reviews don't do very well. I don't want to spend too much time with doing reviews on this stuff. Okay? Because most my viewers just don't care about the Friends theme. It, the Friends theme is pretty cool, but I'm going to be honest though, if you just swap this out and put that transparent black, it would be city. They just, they just regurgitated an idea here and made it for Friends. It's, it's just, honestly, I'm kind of glad now I got this done here. Everybody gets their own helmets. And I'm just checking things out here. We'll put this right in the middle there. All right. Okay. Now, now let's see here. Just getting everything situated for you. So when we do the final tour, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to breeze through this one really fast. Now, I can't tell with the, uh, with the horizon on this, because I don't want to have to move everything again. So I'm going to have to guess. I think that's fine. Hey, I may just do Lego builds for my birthday, but I don't want to just sit at home. That's one thing I just don't want to do, is to sit and do this. You know, I know somebody says, oh, that's kind of a birthday treat, to sit at home and do Lego all day. Some of these guys are Lego fanatics. They're just hardcore into this. And no, this is just a pastime. You know, it's... Um, One of my buddies like, oh, you just stay at home and do Lego all day. I don't want to stay at home and do Lego all day because that would be boring. Um, you know, there we go. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it all in one contingent thing in order. So what I'm going to do now is take the thumbnail, then we're going to come in here and just film the tour, and then I'll do the, uh, the review segment. That means this show will be about... Probably about six, seven minute clip at the most, unedited. We'll see where we go. Right front and center, we have the Space Research Loader. On the left, we have this plant thing. It's kind of pretty to look at. And inside, we have the space aliens. So when you get close, they're supposed to open up and float at you and greet you. I don't know what their purpose is, but it's kind of a pretty little plant configuration, especially with the transparent opaque pieces. And we have this little flying contraption here on the right. This is meant for our space dolls to fit in. So we'll just put Olivia here. She's meant to grab a hold of these and to fly around. Looks more like, like a hoverboard or something. I don't know what that would be. And we got the space helmets here. These are both the same. Not too bad. So here's Olivia. 
And then we have William. you think this would be Olivia's, but no. <laughs> Not too bad for the mini dolls. And, oh, we don't want to forget about Apollo. Looks like a pug or something. I first thought it was a sheep, but no, that's like a little dog in a space outfit. Not too bad. And, well, ready to dive right on into the rover. And that's essentially what it is. It's got a camera on the front. You know what I forgot to do? Turn on the floodlight. There we go. We gotta put a little more light onto that. So you got a camera here, and this can detach. You can also just got the hands. You can do all that stuff. It does roll around. Looks like this thing's meant to be for off terrain. And got some logos and stuff. And yes, this model does have stickers. It was hiding in that sloppily packed box. So I found it when I was doing the build. If you want to see the whole sticker sheet, you'll have to go on the second channel for that one. Yeah, well, we'll talk about all that in the review here. And the review is not that good. I didn't mean to give you that spoiler, but yeah. So, for the most part, that's the Rover. Now, despite of this it's a fully playable model. So we can open up the cockpit here. We can show you inside. So you can see there's a screen there that's printed. There's some over there. And your mini dolls can just sit right here. They got a little plate right there in the middle, right where my fingers point. You can have one of them sit down right in there. I'll show you. We'll put Olivia in there because she likes being the pilot. Just place her down right in there. Well, I guess you have to have smaller hands to do this. Let's try that again. Well, you get the idea. So it's, I mean, it's possible, but I'm dropping the figures. But for an adult, it's uh, not really easy to play with. There's some detail in there. And... Here's the back here with the living quarters, or the sleeping quarters in the lab. So this does open up here. Take a look at that. Okay. We've got two beds, and they also do rotate in to expose the lab equipment. I like those. Those are nice hideaway beds. And those are... There's enough space for your figures to sleep in. Even for Apollo, he can just sit on that jumper plate in there. And, oh, I forgot to mention that right there. You've got the dog biscuit and the water bowl. That's pretty cool. That does close up. Now, this also does detach, too. And this is compatible. Both these pieces are compatible with the the Lego City version of the space sets. So these are meant to be played with, or they could be combined with the other sets. So it's not only a solo model, but you can also play with other space related themes too. So this is not just you have to buy an expansion set to enjoy it. This is pretty good as is, or you can buy more space sets and combine them all together. And for the most part, as you saw here, it is a playable model. It does roll. You know, it turns. So it's really good. Well, we're going to dive right on into the review with play value. And as you saw, there's plenty of things to do here. You got this little hoverboard thing. You got two mini dolls. You got Apollo. You got some accessories here. So there's plenty of things you can do. So if we want to, we can put these inside the back here. You can just, just set them in here. And that's it. So there's plenty of stuff to do. I wish there was a place you could store this in here. Probably can, but it'd be pretty much a tight ride. But for the most part though, fully playable. Build quality is also pretty good too. This is a durable model, so it's not going to fall apart when you're building it 
nor when you're playing with it. Even when I detached this, nothing disintegrated. So you're not going to go wrong with build quality. Now, build experience, for me personally, this set was average to boring. Why? I'm tired of doing space sets. I'm going to be honest. It's the only thing I have done since this whole batch had came out last year. I've just been doing nothing but space sets. And if you're tired of seeing space, this is probably something you don't want to get. But if you're heavy into space, this would probably be a good build. But for me, I just could not get into this build. I'm not going to lie to you there. I just could not get into it. For mock value, this is a standalone model. So you could drop this into a mock or a city. You can expand on this with other Lego space sets. Or you can use the parts for other creations. So there's plenty of things to do here. And there's a lot of unique pieces at that for this model. So there's a lot of possibilities in this set. Now, this set doesn't look it but up to four people can build this set at the same time. So this plant configuration, this hoverboard, and the figures, that's just in one booklet. Booklet 2 just does the chassis for the rover. Booklet 3 does the cockpit. Booklet 4 does uh, the sleeping quarters. So all this right here is modular. It's not connected until the very end. So up to four people can build this set at the same time. That's really good. That's probably the only thing saving this set. Now, for the review, I'm giving it a 7.5. Why? Well, you saw how sloppy the box was packed. I couldn't even find the stickers until I had to really dig down at the bottom. So why didn't they have the instruction manuals and the stickers packed in one of those paper envelopes is beyond me. And these wheel things were just floating around in there. It was just sloppily packed. I, I don't know. And another issue is I did have some of these pieces here come in pitted and scratched. I got lucky here, but one of the, I think one of these on the back here was scratched, and one or two of these. And that was just kind of sloppy. It made the set felt cheap, and I'm not going to hide that. It's just kind of a bummer to see. And another thing I'm dinging off is the stickers. Uh, you know, for this being a nice model, it was just... I mean, it wasn't a lot of stickers, but put them on these round tiles, they're hard to line up. And if you don't have study hands, it's going to be a bit challenging. So for me, the stickers yeah, it didn't ruin the build. It's just kind of a shame, though. I wish it was printed. You know, some of the city versions have this printed, but no, this is stickered, unfortunately. But not a lot of stickers. All in all, though, I am pretty happy with the build, but... 7.5 is my score. It's just, it, it could have been improved a bit in terms of pack and quality and stuff and quality control. If if the parts weren't scratched or anything like this, it probably would have been an 8.5, maybe a 9. But the main thing I dinged off for was the sloppy box and the scratch pieces. I dinged off two points for that. Sorry, but I had to do it. I just... I couldn't look past it, but all in all, though, if, if you've got a son or a daughter who's into space, this is nice. It's a nice build. It's a playable model. But tell me what you think. 